So let's get to Parliament and find out how this issue is playing out on the floor and among members of Parliament, even among the press corps. Joseph Apoku Gakpo is our parliamentary affairs correspondent. He joins me via Zoom from Parliament. Hello, Joseph. So two sides of the Hello. issue. Right. Two sides of the issue being presented to the public this way on an issue of public health uh, concern. How did it play out on the floor of Parliament, first of all? Um, on, on the floor, it actually did not specifically come up for a discussion. Now, what happened was um, there was a statement on the floor by one of the MPs discouraging people against acts of stigmatization when it comes to uh, COVID-19 patients. And after he delivered that statement, then there were contributions from various members of parliament, including uh, Samuel Kujetua Blackwa, who is the MP for North Tongue, as well as uh, Joseph Ilikshire, who is the MP for One West. And in the various contributions to the conversation around um, COVID-19 stigmatization, then some of the MPs kept throwing in cautions to Parliament specifically. Kujetua Blackwa was making the point that he wasn't happy with how Parliament as an institution has handled um, what he says are the test results that have emerged following uh, the COVID-19 tests that were done here in Parliament last week, and he thinks that Parliament should harmonize that properly. In fact, um, one, when he made that point, the speaker, Professor Michael Quay, pulled breaks on the comment that he was making and indicated that um, it, it wasn't fully part of the main discussions on the floor until so then he should desist from uh, getting into that. Joseph Gillette, who is also an NBC MP, equally straight into that particular conversation, urging Parliament to harmonize its uh, public disclosures on issues having to do with COVID-19. And Mr. Yelechide made the point that he was also not happy that in his words, Parliament is trying to hide um, incidents of COVID-19 that have been reported in the House. And so and those bits and pieces played out. Um, Speaker Professor Michael Kwe, in rounding up a conversation on that, I made the point that Parliament as an institution will actually go by the protocols that say when it comes to communication on those who have tested positive or otherwise, these are personal issues. And so that uh, world acclaimed standard in the handling, and so that's exactly how the House will abide by any specific communication with regards to those who've tested positive or otherwise. And so uh, those conversations have been happening, but generally MPs have been urging uh, the public to desist from stigmatizing people who become infected with COVID-19 and desist from um, attacking their families and all of that. Individual members of parliament, when you interact with them, how do they feel about this? Do, you, do they also give you the sense that indeed some people have tested positive? I, I, well, precisely, particularly those on the minority side, even from the comments that were actually made right on the floor, um, from Mr. Blackwa, from Mr. Yelichire, um, the other MPs, including Kwame Abuja and all, they are very much fully convinced by the details that was put out by uh, Munta Kamubarak that there had been a confirmation of some of the MPs testing positive. And even for those on the majority side, the, 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 the conversation is hard that um, you, you do a testing of 690 plus people, there is no way that any conclusion can be drawn that none of them tested positive. So uh, that sense is there that um, in the conversation with the MP, they are convinced some of their colleagues may have tested positive and, and, and all, uh, except that they then make the point that they will take the necessary steps and they are calling for the various uh, rolling out of the necessary protective protocol so that uh, more MPs are not if, um, affected in the end. When it comes to the conversation around the closure of parliament, beyond Kwame Abuja, who is the MP for Adaklu, Ras Mubarak, who is the MP for Kumbungu, is also pushing for that, that the House doesn't have any urgent business that it's dealing with, and so the House should be closed down for at least two weeks, so that then all MPs and staff can self-isolate so the uh, cases don't spread. But Munta Kamubarak, when I spoke to him, made a point that it, it, you need to complete the tracing, the contact tracing, and be 100% certain. And he actually put a threshold to it that if it gets to a point where more than 100 people have tested positive, then that becomes a basis to possibly close parliament. But he thinks that if the numbers of those who end up being positive are minimal, and there is evidence that they've not been in contact with all members of parliament, then you would have no business closing the house. So he thinks that that should be arrived on after the upcoming test that's expected to take place on Thursday and Friday the staff here in Parliament House.
is a group that the that the parliament has indicated will be a part of this testing what do they also say about these developments? Uh, uh, the, the press call, it, it was a little difficult hearing the earlier part of your question, but if you're asking uh, what the response of the press call has been, well, um, as, as has been indicated, the, the news of MPs being infected and parliamentary staff being infected is something that has actually sent shivers down the spine of everyone, including with the members of the press call, and everyone is asking questions about who we may have interacted with and who we may not have interacted with and what this means for our family members and all going forward. And so um, concerned we all are, and um, we are upping up the various safety protocols to ensure that uh, we are safe and that we are able to do our jobs in a way that don't endanger our lives and don't uh, make us COVID-19 um, patients going forward. Joseph, thank you for that update. Joseph Apoku Gakpo, Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent, joining me from Parliament.